Bumblefoot again? Oh, bok bok. Hey folks, welcome back to the Rock and Sea Homestead. My name is Lance. I want to welcome you to our channel. Today, unfortunately, we're back in here in the uh, hospital room, as we like to be, as we call it. Um, our little Bok Bok has Bumblefoot again. So we got some really good feedback on the last time we did a video about Bumblefoot. So we're going to try those methods. And essentially what we're going to do is someone has talked about getting this stuff called Priv. It's a drawing salve. And we're going to put that on the on the affected area and then we're going to use one of these little corn cushions where the little hole is going to put that right over where that um or that core of the uh, bumblefoot is and put that around it and then we're going to wrap it with some self-adhesive tape and she should be good to go and what this is supposed to do is draw that uh, core out and it could possibly even just pull it completely out and then we don't have to do any kind of surgery, those kind of things. I guess the surgery we did last time didn't really get all the infected area out, unfortunately. So she has it again. And before we do any of that stuff, we're going to bring her in. We're going to soak her feet in hot water or warm water and uh, some Epsom salt. Get it all nice and clean and disinfected. And then do all those things and hopefully we get her better. So I guess it's time to go get the chicken. All right, so we're going to soak her feet, like I was saying. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. Yeah. Oh, so one of the reasons why we soak her feet, it's supposed to kind of loosen up some of the infection, but also her feet are dirty from being out there. So I think it serves two good purposes. Yeah. Cleans her feet. Kind of softens things up, I think. The Epsom salts, I think, are supposed to help with the healing. But at this point, she has a pretty big bumble on that one foot. Yeah, big time. So we'll have to see how the new technique works. Hopefully it works like a charm. Yeah, hopefully, hopefully so. Yeah. In the meanwhile, we bribe her with some of the good stuff. So you can see she's a pretty good patient. Partly good, because she's just used to being patient. I was going to say, good thing because she's a patient more often than We've not. We've had so many chickens over time now. So far, how many of them have had bumblefoot? One. This one. She's the only one. Only one. <laughs> but she's had it many, many times. I think she's just predisposed for it. Yeah, I think so. And every other illness. Oh, bok bok. Yep. Well, we'll get her soaked up and uh, then we'll take you on to the next step. We've got her out of the water. Lance is just trying to get her feet dried off so we can see what we're working with, really. So it's kind of hard to tell when they're out. They've got a little bit of mud going on out there with the dirt and whatnot. So, But you can see she's got a big bumble spot there at the bottom. That's that black mark you see there. And at the top, there's a big bulb of nastiness. So I'm not 100% sure which end we're supposed to be. Applying the drawing I, I think we may to, have to do both. So I think we're gonna yeah, I was gonna say so we, I think we're gonna try both. <laughs> Poor Bok Bok. 
But you can see once you kind of get them in a downward laying position like that, they tend to kind of become subdued. So we're going to get her all cleaned up, her feet all cleaned up there, and then we're going to go ahead and put on the salve and the corn pad. Then we're going to wrap it with the tape and we'll, we'll check it and see that every couple days and see how it's, or probably every day for a while, and see how she's doing. Does that sound right, Mr. Corey? Yes, ma'am. Okay. It's alright, they're a lot back. We're going to get a little of this prid. We're drawing salve. Kind of brown. I don't know, gooey looking stuff. I don't know how to best describe it. Just gonna apply that to that dot right there. And I guess we're gonna go ahead and apply it to the dot on the top too of this foot, right? Yeah, and the bottom of that foot. Yeah, this is good. She's got a great big huge knot on the top of her foot. And then of course the what you're used to seeing on the bottom there. And you can see when you get these chickens in this kind of lying down position, they tend to kind of just tend, I say. <laughs> Not always. They tend to kind of just chill and, and, and relax. Kind of, if they're not relaxed, they're at least very subdued. <laughs> but there we go. I think I got a good glob of that. Okay. And now I'm going in with the corn pad. It is adhesive. Do I put the adhesive side down or should I put it up? I say put the adhesive side down. I think it's okay to have this Yeah, I think it's fine. Okay. Sorry, new, so we don't know. So hey, if we're wrong about that, you should let us know right away so we can do it yeah. differently next time. <laughs> All right. What about the top? This isn't big enough to go around the top. Maybe we just... Pad. Cut a little piece of that to go on top. And then we'll wrap it with our self-adhesive tape. She seems to not love, but she also doesn't try to take it off. So yeah. we call that a win. And it blends in with her foot, so you know other people won't mock her. The other chickens won't <laughs> won't mock her won't on the point and laugh. That's right. <laughs> not that she cares. She doesn't care. She knows she's our favorite. Aren't you, Bok Bok? Okay, one down, babe. One down, one to go, babe. All right. So now we're gonna go ahead onto this other foot. Oh, I already put the stab on that one. Yep. We're straight into the corn pad then, aren't we? We are. There we go. We get our tape. I just kind of wrap it in and out and around. Kind of weave it Oops. in between the toes. Weave it in between the toes. It, it works pretty well when it's not being difficult. <laughs> it is right now. Um, basically just trying to cover up everything that's got and you kind of goo on it. Goo on it, and then you're just running it now just to make sure it uh, holds on or stays on. And I just have the scissors nearby. Cut off. And I like to try to make the, it end at the top. I think there's less of a chance for it to come off if it ends at the top than if it ends at the bottom. So that's what we try to do. There, now her feet are all sealed up. And we'll check that again probably early in the morning tomorrow since we're heading out for a homesteader conference tomorrow. Um, and we'll see how she does. Hopefully that draws up the infection and we can just kind of grab the tweezers and just pull it out. That's the hope. Yeah, that's the, so, that's the hope and dream. Um, that's what we, we've read. So we're we're hopeful that this works well because we prefer not to have to get out the yeah. surgical stuff again because that's, that's not fun for anybody. Not fun at all. So let's get this girl back out to her, her uh, feathered peeps and uh, we'll let you know how she's doing. Yeah, and guys, thanks for coming back, watching our video. We really appreciate it. If you haven't caught us on Facebook or Instagram, those will be down in the description. Subscribe, ring the bell, all those fun things. And from our homestead of yours, have a blessed day, and we'll catch you in the next video. Bye. Bye. Come on, girl. Let's go.